John Horgan joined by Rick Middleton, president of the Boston Bruins alumni, 14-year NHL veteran, number 16 retired, all-star, uh, truly one of the greatest players ever to put on the black and gold. Thank and <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah. And that's from the heart, man. Everybody else that's watching this knows what I said. It's from the heart, and it's true. Um, we lost. They're fallen now, Nifty. We lost one, one of the great ones uh, from the Montreal Canadiens, the great rivalry, but uh, Guy Lafleur is gone. Well, you know, I think the whole province of Quebec is in mourning, and maybe all of Canada at that. Uh, it was common knowledge that he was sick, he, you know, and he was fighting it, uh, and everybody was cheering for him, but unfortunately, uh, he didn't make it. It's just amazing that we lost him and Mike Bossy within weeks of each other, uh, two uh, icons in, in Quebec and in the NHL, and played against both of them. Uh, their teams b both beat us. Uh, you know, the Islanders beat us out in 83 in the, in the semis, and, and uh, Guy, obviously, in the 70s. If it wasn't for him, we might have won a couple of Stanley Cups, especially the too many men on the ice, which everybody will rem remember. But both of those guys were pure goal scorers. They just had the ability to put the puck in the net at the right time of the game. And to me, that's a legend when you can win not, not only games, but Stanley Cups for your team. And uh, LaFleur, obviously, one of the quickest skaters of his tenure. Um, I look at Bossy more like you, hand-eye, good on his skates, not the quickest in the world. But um, LaFleur, tell me one story of the breeze going past you on a break. Well, there's a picture out there, a friend of mine just sent it to me, and it looks like he's spearing me, but I'm actually holding his <laughs> stick to slow him down. But I wasn't on the ice that much against Guy. It was mostly Donnie Marcotte. So. And plus he was on the opposite side too, so you wouldn't yeah, have to defend well, him. Luckily, I didn't have to catch him. No. Hey, Nifty, first of all, I want to thank you for a wonderful season. The entire crew that we had here, uh, Kevin Tachi, Alex Lisa Bazanson, Mark Land, our camera people, Paul Watson, Matt Nelson, Dave Bowen, Jason Marshall. Wow. Outstanding job. I know, right off the top of the head. So, uh, But we did a great job, and thank you for allowing me to be part of this because I had such a great time. John, you've been part of this from the day one. We couldn't do this without you. You know that. So stop being so humble. But no, really, actually, we can't do it. We have a great group of people, not only the guys on the ice, as you know, having 40 guys that volunteer to play in any, in any given game. And we did 21 games this year. And as you know, we did 10 during COVID last year. Guys came out, wore masks, and struggled through a, a whole game hardly breathing. So, you know, we're so fortunate. And then we decided to put it on TV. And we're having the best announcer in the world right here that was doing it in the rink, you're still doing it in the rink, but you're doing it on tape now too, and coming off like this is a professional uh, organization, and that's why we're the best in, in, in the, if we had a league, we'd be best in the alumni league, let's put it that way. Absolutely, and hey, surround me with good people, and I'll, I'll, I'll rise to the occasion. Any team. But, but we are, and I gotta tell you, I've talked to guys, including Guy, and the Montreal Canadiens alumni, the Toronto Maple Leafs alumni, they all say, how do you guys do it? And I just, we're more like a family. It's not an I, it's a we. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and we kind of run our own show, which, which makes us very, uh, uh, important that we are doing that so we can be flexible and do whatever game. We can be called up at the last minute and do a game. We don't have to do a lot of planning ahead of time. If we uh, get asked to go to Canada and go up to the Maritime, we can get in a bus and go to the Maritime. So we're lucky like that, and it only it's only because we have so many guys that are willing to play. And finally, uh, thank you for letting me be part of the greatest hockey show on earth. But uh, this is your final year as president of the Boston Bruins alumni. Thank you. Well, th this is my last year. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be back to coach a game. I probably will never play again because I, uh, I have my knee done. And I really don't want to take the chance. But no, no, I'm just retiring as the president, but I'm still going to be around Boston. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys on occasion. Outstanding. Nifty Rick Middleton.